דקדוש בוקר אור מסכת שבוע טוב מסכת במציאה דף מ"ו עמוד א' 46 a1 we are talking about right now that the, there was a question on Rav Papa from the Mishnah the Mishnah said היה עומד בגורן if a person is going to be in his greenery in a storage house והם בידו מעות and he does not have right well, so what he wanted to do was he wanted to redeem the maser maser sheni without adding the fifth Remember that whenever you redeem the Maaseh Shani, you have to add a fifth. Ve'em bi'adomahot. He doesn't have money. So Melech Haviro, he's going to come and he's going to say to his friend, Hare perot alalu, netunim lecha b'matana. These fruits are going to be with you for a matana, for a present. Yeah? And then what happens? The Choser ve'omer, then he says, Hare u'mechulanin al ma'ot sheyesh li b'bayit. It's going to be mechulanin in the money which I have in the house. Okay, so what happens is, is he says like this, he says, Ta'ama, so what do we say? We said he's going to be Yosef Chobah like this, and the money is going to be holy, and he doesn't have to add a fifth. So right now he just did a trampa, right? He did a combina in order that he does not have to add a fifth to the value of the Ma'asir Shani. So says the Gemara, Ta'ama, again, one more time, when you redeem Maaser Shani, Maaser Shani is in what year's doctor? Two, one, two, four, five. Chazak Baruch, one, two, four, five. So in years one, two, four, five out of Shemitah, you have to give Maaser Shani, which is the second 10%. In years three and six, it's Maaser Ani, which you give to the Aniim. So here what happened was, is that you didn't, now when you redeem it, if you're going to take those fruits to Israel, to Yerushalayim and eat it there, You don't have to do anything with it. You just take the fruits, take there, and you eat it there. But if you're going to come and you're going to redeem it on money and then take the money to Jerusalem and buy food there and eat it, you have to add a fifth. This guy just did a new type of a, I don't know how you say it in English. It's a kombina in Hebrew or in uh, a barja. Oh, okay. So uh, Aramit, fine. Okay. So, but basically it's, uh, but, but they said in Hebrew as well. He basically did something, uh, He did like a business, okay. monkey business. Okay, he did monkey business. He got out of it, right? That basically he doesn't have to add the fifth. So Tam, uh, the reasoning only why he was allowed to do such a thing is Dan Biadomaot because he didn't have money. Haimesh Biadomaot. But let's say right now he did have money. Likne lehu leidach b'meshicha. Why is he not going to acquire the money, right, to the person through Meshicha? Remember, one of the forms of acquisition is Meshichah, what is Meshichah? You're drawing it towards you, okay? And therefore, uparik, and therefore you're going to be podeh, you're going to redeem the Ma'aser Sheni with this, tehach yadif, because that way it's much better than this, right? Tehavale nochri, because then in such a case, the friend is considered like a zar legamre, he's considered completely a stranger to do with these fruits, whereas it's not his. But when he comes and he gives the fruits to his friend, and then the friend redeems with the money, It's Kilu, he's being podeh, his own Maaseh Shani with this. And therefore, the, 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 the right of the Mishnah did not permit him to do this like this. Okay. Now, if you're going to tell me, right, that the Matbea is going to be acquired with Chalipin, right, you should acquire it with money. Yeah, and he says, Agav Sudar, by Kinyan Chalipin, the Lifrok, and then you should be able to come and you should be able to redeem it. What does that mean? You guys remember that we said there's a something which is called a kinyan chalipin, right? Or by sudar. What was a sudar? They used to take a handkerchief, right? And they used to give it to, and then they used to pick it up. And, and that will be ah, very good. Some people, they do that. Or some people use a pen. Some people use, three. yeah. No, no, no. So when you do the, the chametz, you actually do every single type. Yeah. Right? Every type. I thought you were, I didn't understand. I thought you were talking about between the Jew and the rabbi. I, you know, you're talking about between the goy and the rabbi. Like going to the rabbi, we do uh, five or six kinyanim. We do document. We do money. We do handshake, which is setumta. We do the, the meshicha. We do hagba'ah, picking something up. We do mesirat mafteach, giving over a key, right? We give do kinyan agav. We actually give a kinyan chatser. We rent them out the property where the chametz is found. We do five, six, seven, how many as much as we can. We try to do to the goy to make sure that the goy is going to acquire our chametz. But the, here we're talking about the entire concept of that if you're going to tell me that a coin can be acquired through Chalipin, 
which means an exchange. So I give you my cow and you're going to give me, let's say, the money and all of a sudden it switches over, right? So therefore, even though you didn't actually do anything to my cow, my cow was still even in my house. So you didn't do the Mashiach, you didn't draw it forth, you didn't buy, you didn't pick it up, you didn't do all these things. Still, if it, so then why, why can't you do that? Answers the Gemara, the let le suda. You didn't have a suda. What does that mean? Since you didn't have a suda or any other utensil in order to do kinyan chalipin, that's why you couldn't do it. So, for example, nowadays I've even seen rabbis that they'll come and they'll ask the guy for his kippah. Meaning, he, you know, he'll have a hat. He says, Can I give you the kippah? And then he gives it to the chatan. He says, Now do the kinyan suda. You know what I mean? Like, you know, now do it. So, uh, but nowadays, usually they'll try to do it with a handkerchief. If they can't do it with a handkerchief, they'll use a pen. They'll use that, uh, and then you know they'll they get creative with the different ways of doing it. So says the Gemara, niala nialea agav karka. Why doesn't he acquire it agav? Kinyan agav means if you acquire a land by the way of the land. You, you remember, so we spoke about this case. For example, if you buy a house and there's furniture in the house, so agav the house you acquire the furniture. Meaning, even though the furniture is considered metallically movable objects. And therefore, those type of things, you have to actually do a form of acquisition. The fact that you acquired the house, which is karka, the, the how do you call this? The metal to me, which is inside, is going to be acquired agav, the karka. So the same thing over here. So answers the gemara, the haomed begoren katani. We're talking about in the Mishnah that he's in the goren. And therefore, since he's going to be in the goren, right? He could actually be maknedze, right, from the goren. So he says, right, he could actually do it from the Goren. So answers the Gemara, the right. Goren is not yours. So since the Goren is not yours, you can't be maknet to him through the Karka, meaning like this. If it belonged to me, so I could give you part of the granary, and then, bar, bar, by the way, if part of the granary, you could acquire the fruits. But if it doesn't belong to me, how do I give it? If something's not mine, I cannot give it to you. You understand? It's not mine. So for example, somebody wanted, let's say, a Rogelach. Yeah, and the Rogelach is not mine. So therefore, I cannot give it to you. Yeah, I, I, no matter how much I want to give it to you, yeah, yeah, I, no matter how much I want to give it to you, I can't because because it's not, yeah. Oh, fine. We kapal, we kapal tana lashmina, and so therefore we're going to actually come and teach us gavra tilai delet levelokrum. When you have a person that's without clothing, mamash in the granary, he has nothing, right? So therefore he says what, and he has nothing to do chalipin. Meaning everyone has something. I could use even Richard's hat right now if I wanted to, to do Khalipin. His glasses. His, I don't know what. You're going to tell me what the guy is without anything that he has nothing to do Khalipin with. But rather it comes to teach us. And matbea nikne be Khalipin. Shema mina. That matbea cannot be acquired through Kilian Khalipin. That's what we actually want to learn from the Mishnah. Meaning Khalipin, you cannot do it with a coin. A coin cannot be acquired through Khalipin. Remember, the Khalipin is that I'm going to take the Sudlat and you're going to acquire the coin. You can't do that with Matbea, with a coin. You could do that with other things, but not with a, with money. I cannot acquire your money through Kinyan Khalipin. Okay? The after of Papa Hadarbe, and even of Papa also retracted. Ki Hadar of Papa, just like of Papa, he had 12,000 dinarim. Imagine, he had 12,000 coins, right? And what happened? In the house, which was very, very far away. And he acquired it, the Rav Papa acquired it to Rav Shmuel Bar Acha, right, by the, okay. yeah, but what's it called uh, inside the door, the door threshold. frame, the, the threshold, thank you, the threshold of the door. Yeah, but basically he was going over there. So you wanted to acquire him the money in order, right, that he should bring it. Kiata, when he came, Nafak Le'apeh, he came out to him at Tavach until this certain place because of so much simcha. Meaning, from the fact that if Papa had to acquire him the money, Agav Karka, and he just didn't do it much easier form in a way of Khalipin through Sudar, we learn from here that he also held the same thing. That means even if Papa at the beginning that he said that you could acquire it through Khalipin, money, you could acquire it through Khalipin, he retracted. He could only acquire it Agav Karka. You could only do it through Karka and not through and that's what also Ula said. A coin cannot be made into Khalipin. Yeah, okay. So you have three different groups of rabbis saying the same thing. Ask Rabbi Abba to Ula. 
ופועליו טובים בשוק. Imagine a person has his חמרים, or פועלים. Basically, they're workers or people that carry things on the hamor. Remember, a hamor is a hamor, and then you have the hamar is the one that actually uh, uh, directs, that he leads the hamor. So you have this hamarav, right, which they, and the poalim, the workers, that they're asking for their money in the shuk. For them, ve'amal shulchani, sitaz shulchani, which is the, the money exchanger, right, the guy, the, 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 how do you call this, the clerk, right, he tells them in the shuk, tell me dinar, give me a dinar, right, ma'ot of money, I'm going to give you your fed dinar utrisit. I'm going to give you to me ma'ot she'ish b'tiv with the money that I have in my house. So if he has no ma'ot, if he does have money, mutar is allowed to do so, and there's no issue of ribit of interest because here, did you realize he gave him? He asked for a dinar, and what's he getting back? He's getting back a dinar with which is a fed dinar and the tzitzit, which is a small coin. So it looks like interest, right? Right now, I don't have cash. So I tell Richard, Richard, you know what? Go give Mordechai the money, right? But one second, Richard, I'm asking you to give him a dinar. But I'm going to give you a yafe dinar, a good dinar, plus a small coin. So it looks like it's interest. So he says, if right now in my house I have money, so therefore you're allowed to do so, and it's not considered the Yisur Avribit. But if not, that he does not have money, so then it's going to be an Yisur Avribit. The reason why is because we say that the Shulchani is doing a Kinyan Chalipin, and therefore, right, the Shulchani is actually giving the, the Balabai, the Prutos, and he's going to acquire it, the Dinan and the Trisit, with the money that he has in his house. So if there's no, meaning he's doing the acquisition immediately. So there's no, um, there, the only time that you have a Yisuri beat is only if you're waiting for the money, but not if you're paying it right away. Meaning, if I come and I tell you, listen, doctor, you're going to acquire this book, Right? And, I'm, and you're going to pay me $40. Even though I came and I bought it for $35, the fact that I'm not waiting on money and you're paying me immediately, there's no rebeat. Rebeat is only if I'm telling you, listen, I'm strapped for cash. I don't have the cash now. You give the dollar, I'll give you $2 tomorrow. That is called rebeat. Because I'm waiting to pay you back money. It's called I'm tanat ma'ot. I'm waiting for money. But if you're doing the kinyan immediately, even though it's going to be more valuable, Meaning, I'm giving you more money. Money changer is entitled to pay for his service, right? 100%. 100%. So says the Gimara, one second, let's try to understand this, uh, this case. The case was where the guy comes and he doesn't have money. His workers are asking him for the money. Show me the money. Right? He doesn't have the money. So what happens? He tells the, the Shulchani, listen, give them the dinar, and then I'm going to pay you back. But I'm not going to pay you back a regular dinar. I have fed dinar the street in a small coin. I'm going to pay you back in the house. So if right now he does have it in the house, so therefore we met, there's no problem of rebeat. But if he doesn't, he has a problem of rebeat. Says the Gemara, but why? If you're going to tell me now that that a matbea does not become chalipin, so it's, a, it's considered a halva'ah. And once it's halva'ah, it's going to be a sur. So ishti, he kept quiet. Amarle, he told him, din ma'idi vi'idi ve prototot shanu. Maybe we we're talking about the concept of prototot. The lekalayu tiva that it does not have. Here we're talking about a case of prototot, which is money of, of copper, which it does not have tiva. And therefore, it's all considered peida, the fruits. So because of that, it's going to be acquired with chalipin. You remember we came and we actually brought, started bringing down what is considered the, how do we call it? How do we translate it? The products or the, the fruit, the produce. The produce or the tiva, meaning can you acquire it, not acquire it, all these things. So this is all these halakhot. So therefore, since it's going to be considered the tiva, so therefore you could come and you could actually acquire it. So Amale, so he comes and he says, Yeah, in yes, daikanami ditani, you could actually deduce like this. Yafe dinar utrisit. When he said yafe dinar utrisit, we looked at him, we didn't say dinar yafe, right? Utrisit. Why did he say, right? Yafe dinar utrisit. Yeah, and he didn't say dinar yafe utrisit. Shumamina, we learn from here the salacha. Ravashi Amar, Ravashi comes and he says leolam bedamim uprotetot. Really, by man, we're talking about bedamim, and we're talking about with copper coins. The kevan diitle, and since he has the money in his house, naasak yomered comes out as if he's saying alveni atchevo beni, right? Let me until my son comes, or until I'm going to find the 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 key. Now, the Gemara actually said that you're allowed to, to lend a se'ah be'se'ah 
when you have it in your house, because it's considered that you actually have, you're acquiring that which you have in the house. Okay? So therefore, you're allowed to do such a thing. Okay? Fine. Okay, there's a whole machloket here. Rashi, this, that. Okay, let's go. Tashima, we want to try to bring now another proof. Kol anase damim be'achet. Anytime when you're going to have a case where somebody gives money to their friend in order to accept a utensil, kevan shezacha ze, once he's going to a, he's going to be zoche, nitchayev ze bechalipin. He's obligated in the chalipin to do it because kol anase damim be'achet. What does that mean? He says to the matbeah. So shmami na matbeah nasa chalipin. Again, even though we kept on saying the statements, Richard, about does it become chalipin or not become chalipin? Here we're coming. We're trying to tell you that there is a concept of that if it's going to become Chalipin or not. So here we're asking that it's mashma, right? Um, yeah, it's mashma over here that you would actually be able to do Chalipin, right? So here by a coin, you would be able to do Chalipin. So how does that make sense? We always kept on saying that you cannot make Chalipin. So Amr Rav Yudha, Rav Yudha says, Haki Kamar, this is what it means to say. Kol anishom, right? Menvava Mubet, 46b. Kol anishom damim be'acher, Right? Anything, right? Which you have to, he says over here, anything which is, uh, that you have to actually evaluate. Kevan shezacha ze, nitchayev ze bechalipin. Anytime that you're going to, he's going to be zoche, so the other one is going to be chayav in chalipin. Which means, anything that you have to actually come in to evaluate, whether you have to pay it or not, right? So you come and he says, once a mocher is going to be zoche, that's so you're not dealing with a coin. Exactly, because he, that's why he says, you're going to be chayav, to actually come and to do the Chalipin. It's also logical to say such a thing. As it said, we learned in the Seifa, Ketzad. What is the case? You're going to switch a Shor and a Para, or a Chamor and a Shor. So again, we're talking about two different uh, monies we're talking about. Shema Mina, we are learning from here, right, that this is the Klal that we just mentioned over here. Ulmai Tisali Kadaita Meikara. So according to what we just thought at the beginning, the Matbeah, May, what is Allah to do the Matbea? Keita, what's the case exactly? So Haki Kamar, this is what it means to say. Upere nam yavdi chalipini. Even by fruits, the produce, also you can make chalipini. It's not only just utensils. Meaning, even by produce, we thought maybe it's only going to be by animals or by utensils. No, even by produce, you could do it. Keita, echliv shor be para, chamo be shor. Even by a shor be para and para be shor, you could also do chalipini. So if it's not only just going to be in utensils, even by produce, even by animals, you could come and you could do the concept of chalipin. So says the Gemara, Hani chal Rav Sheshad, this is going according to Rav Sheshad, that he says, Peri Avde Chalipin, that you could do it. But according to Rav Nachman, that he says, only a keli, but not fruits, not any produce. So what are you going to do then? What are you going to say? Here it says that you're allowed to do it. Shor para para. that's going to be produce. We just said there's a shita, that only utensils you could do it. You can't do it in anything. So answer the Gemara, this is what it means to say, yesh damim chalipin. There are certain types of money which they do help like chalipin. What is the case? You're switching the money of it. Okay? That's what you're doing. What's the reason of Rav Nachman? He says, Dvar Torah ma'ot kanot. According to Mina Torah, money. Why does Rav Nachman right? say you can't use products for chalipin? So it says over here like this. It says, right, here, according, what's the reasoning of Rav Nachman? So this is what uh, uh, Richard asked. Why is the reasoning of Rav Nachman that you could only do chalipin on a utensil and not on perot? So he says, that he says, money always acquires. So why did they say that Meshicha has to do the acquisition? He says, Gezerah Shema, it's a Gezerah, maybe, Yomarlo, he's going to tell him, Nisifuchi techa baliya, right, that your, your wheat was burnt in the attic. Minta de shichicha, gazur benadam, so anything which is common, the rabbis need a decree, they minta de lo shichicha, and something which is not common, lo gazur benadam, they did not make any decree, which means, right, on fruits, you could always say they got burnt. On a utensil, you can't say that. But you could come and you could say, listen, you had some fruits, it became bad, it could be this, that, 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 that. fine. You can't say that on a utensil. So on, on a utensil, they didn't make any decree. But on the fruits, they made such a decree. Therefore, they said, Torah. It's good. And that's what he's saying. Mina Torah, it works. Ah, and according to the Shakish, that he says, Torah. So he says, This is going to be good. 
Isav like Rav Shashat, if he holds like Rav Shashat, Mitzad Yitzhak Rav Shashat, so then he can answer like Rav Shashat, but if he's going to hold like Rav Nachman, that really by Emet Perot, they don't do Chalipin. So Matbea Lokani, so how are you going to answer that? So he says, obviously, according to Rav she answers like Rav Shashat. You have to say that, in order that there's no questions. Okay, Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah. Kol HaMetaltelin konin zeh zeh. Anything which is in Taltalin are going to require each other. Ramana Shakish says that a Shakish, even if you have two pouches of money, they're also going to acquire each other, which means even one money pouch with another money pouch, you could also do that. So so that's what Ravacha came and he answered by the dinar Anka. We're talking about the dinar of Anka, and the, it's the, the other keys is full of anigra. They're basically two different types of, uh, of coins. So one of them is Anka. And one of them is Anigra. So Echad She Pesanto Malchut, one of them, the, the government made it disqualified. And one of them, Pesanto Medina, was the entire Medina. Utsricha, and we need both cases. Why? The Yashmi numbers, if you're going to tell me it was only the Malchut that came in and made it. So therefore, what's going to happen is, we shouldn't do Sagi because you cannot use it. Klal, our Pesanto Medina, but if it's just a Medina, you could still use it in another Medina. So Ema Kati Matbea, at the end of the day, it's still a Matbea. It's not going to be, it's not going to help out whether it's going to be privately or publicly. But if it's going to be the Malchut, the Sagile Betzina, that you could do it privately, it's still going to be a Matbea. Right? It's still going to be something. So therefore, it's not going to be acquired by Chalipin. So that's why we need both cases. Okay? Fine. So Amar, yeah, he comes and he says, Amar Abba Baravuna, says Rabba, by Baravuna, he comes and he says, Mecholi Be'elu Kana. If right now a person is going to be machzik, right, with money, and he tells his friend, sell me this object with the money, with this money, Kana, he's going to acquire it. Okay? V'yesh lo alav ona'a. And there's going to be ona'a. You remember what ona'a is? That you're not allowed to charge more than one, six. So it's going to happen, okay? And then obviously we're going to continue with Zatoshem with the rest of the Gemara.